Hello and welcome! I am Arumba. thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 33 of Let's Play, the Record Breaker campaign for Crusader Kings 2. We just took our third holy site, which means that now we're able to reform the faith. The first time I played as Carpathia, or Hungary, as it starts out as, uh, actually the Magyars is what it starts out as, I conquered the Pope before reforming the faith, and something really, really weird happened. So, the Pope became the head of the Tengri religion. And he stayed Catholic because there's like some hard coding in the game that forces the, the Pope to always be Catholic no matter what. He can never be a heretic. And it was just like, oh, you're, you're Tengri. Everyone in the whole world is Tengri. Well, I'm a Catholic. I don't, I don't believe in what you're talking about. So we're going to reform the faith before conquering Rome. That's why I've held off on doing it for now. And uh, yeah, so what we gain, we gain some things and lose some things by doing this. We're going to lose 750 piety. Who cares? Um, we're going to gain Holy War cast a spell against everyone else. So everyone who doesn't believe in what we believe in, which is perfect, because it's pretty much just pagans that are left and a couple Muslims. We don't lose access to the Invasion CB, so certain, char certain classes or characters we can still declare invasions against. However, the one problematic thing is that we do lose the bonus that Tengri get, which is that our vassals will start to care if we raise their levies. So that is going to affect overall opinion. Right now, Pretty much everyone loves me. Um, you know, most of them. Some of them, the ones that have raised levy penalties are currently the wrong religion. So the one advantage, though, is that now we'll be able to demand their conversion. So let's go ahead and do it. We're going to reform the Tangri. That's great. Now, some people are going to immediately, randomly just become new Tangri. They're like, oh yeah, that's cool. Other people are going to stay old Tangri, which we're able to declare holy wars on. So... Now is the time to declare a whole bunch of wars. But first, let's just quickly find people who are unhappy because they don't believe in what we believe in and uh, demand their conversion if possible. That's the simplest way to fix problems. Uh, I'd really rather not give this guy any more money. But yeah, if we can't get them high enough to demand their conversion, then that's fine. So we'll send Gift here. And he's not quite high enough. You know what we need to do is release a prisoner. Let's find a Count who's plotting. Imprison him. Because he's a count, he can't actually rebel directly against me because I'm not his direct liege, so no matter what, I can catch him. And then that guy... That guy, I can release and get a plus 10 opinion modifier. It doesn't work if you use barons. You've got to use counts or higher. So now we'll have plus 10 opinion from release to prisoner with everyone, which is awesome. And uh, here we go. So this guy needs to be bribed and then demand conversion. We couldn't do this before. That's why I haven't ever done it. Uh, in this series. This guy still doesn't like us enough. That's fine. This guy also thinks I'm a heretic. Yep, send gift. Demand conversion. Uh, this guy... Send gift. Demand conversion. This guy... What's your deal? There's quite a few old Tengri. They'll convert eventually, but we'll just help it along a little bit. That's basically what all this money's for. You cannot demand the conversion of children for some reason. And so yeah, a lot of our land is actually split right after we do that. So I just want to make sure that we're like, you know, most of them are above 30. Um, the people who aren't above that are going to be the people that we need to convert. And that'll probably be enough. Let's quick save. I don't think I've done that in a while. We have our one rebellion, which is good, because it still gives us the plus 30. We want to always have one of them going, but not too many. So now, like, the Mali guy, for example. Before, I could only do conquest because he's a pagan. Now I can do holy wars. So, if possible, we'd like to kill him. Can't. That's fine. We'll have to wait. Our truce timer with him. We probably have a lot of truce timers. It'll be hard to find. Whatever. It's sometime. We can declare invasions, I think, again on these guys. I don't think we have a truce with them anymore. Yep, so we'll just do an invasion of this guy, which will take over all of the Abbasid. We'll do an invasion of this guy in one year, apparently. Can't kill him. Okay, I think the time has come to to take over the Rome guy. We're going to do a holy war. Actually, we'll just, do an, uh, we'll just do an invasion. And now all these guys who were like the wrong religion to allow me to do stuff, now we can actually take big chunks of their land. Holy War. 
Holy War also conveniently gives me all of their land. So that's good. Yeah, I'll just do Holy War. Holy War is, um, I think it gives less prestige though. Not really sure. We have a truce with you, don't we? Like, okay, so if we win the war, we gain 200 prestige plus the normal 200 that you always get. Holy War, you actually lose piety to declare. Conquest, you don't lose piety. So that's right. So if it's a single county, we're either going to do an invasion or a conquest. I need to remember to do that. Alright, so who can we declare war on? A truce with you. Of course we have a truce with you. You are not independent. Norway, I think we still have a truce with. Until 909. Denmark, we probably... No, we don't actually have a truce with them. So we'll do holy wars against them. And in this case, I want to do it for like the largest chunks of land I can. So like, that's three counties. That's four counties. So we'll do that one. Uh, let's see. Norway, Sweden. Sweden's here. I don't think we've done anything with Sweden for a while. That's three counties. Three counties. So we'll take those three. Norway up there. I guess we're going to have to do a single little holy war for this guy. Which is really, really unfortunate. Uh, I think that's the only one that borders our land closely, so... Oh well. Truce timer with him. Holy War. Truce timer. Uh, we'll do a conquest here. He's revolting, but... We'll try. Holy War or Conquest? Well, it's only one county either way, so we'll just do a Conquest. That way we don't lose the piety. The risk that you run is that if my character dies, my next character is going to have very little piety. So you're actually kind of limited on your overall number of Holy Wars you can declare at once. So you've kind of got to plan it out a little bit. Now, like a two-county Holy War makes sense to me. A Holy War against someone who's revolting? Not so much. Because he's pretty much just going to back out of the war. You, we have a truce with. Holy War for Vladimir. It's a single county, but we'll do it. She is revolting. We don't want to declare that one. Another guy revolting. Another guy we can declare war on. This guy we definitely have a truce with. Another guy that's revolting, but we can conquest him, so that's fine. And this guy's actually our ally, so we're going to lose prestige to do it, but who cares? Yes, that is a good chunk of land. Holy War for what? Three counties. We'll take it right through the center of his land. Oh, we can declare an invasion. Perfect. Holy War for that. Sounds good. Conquest. Good. Truce. I think I already did those ones. Pretty sure. Alright, so these ones are all truce timed. That's fine. This thing we checked on, I think, all of them. Yep, truce timer. Now we can finally declare war on this guy. We actually have a de jure claim we can press on behalf of my king, who's a Hungarian Tengri. Um, if we do that, he'll stay in charge, and he'll be a West African pagan. So we will declare a holy war there, even though it costs me piety. I think we have a truce timer here. Yep, okay. Uh, and then, yeah, I think that even though we're declaring all these other wars, uh, we'll declare war on this one guy. Um, but not the other guy, because we have a truce timer with him. So we'll do him later. He'll probably join in anyway. But, um, yep. So let's raise up the men. We've got 400,000 troops. That's nice. Nice as always. So a little bit micro-E. Just a little bit. All these troops are kind of superfluous. But we'll just rally them wherever. Uh, we're going to want a pretty sizable force to head north and start assaulting these guys. Great thing about Holy Wars is that, kind of like conquests, as soon as they surrender, you just accept. And you don't have to occupy anything. 
So you just just beat up their army and assault one holding, and then they usually just give up right away. Now this guy's army, I think, will actually raise over here, and we'll go down this way. All these guys can head up there too. You guys just stand down. You're too tiny. Um, you guys are actually pretty sizable. There's a good retinue in that army, so why don't you guys all go to here? Mm. You guys can just rally to here, and then once you meet up, I'll try to remember to do something with it. This whole army is kind of weak, so just stand down. Mm, there's 30,000 men there. That's fun. There's only 8,000 here between them. Byzantine Emperor, though, is providing me with 50,000. Which is good. So we'll raise them here. Split them in half so they don't suffer too much attrition. Like right about there. And then uh, let's go ahead and just advance them to two separate locations and we'll start assaulting our way through everything. All of these troops I think I'd like to have go back up there. You guys can just go sit here. They're probably going to get ganked. All of you guys, pretty much all of you guys, just go to here. The army of Italy. See, this is why I need to reform Italy. How many men do we have here all together? 40,000. Let's go to Genoa. Genoa has a good cap. And then let's raise up the boats. Grab 700 boats. Perfect. Boats go to Genoa. Uh, the army of Spain... I think Barcelona's got a good rate, yeah, a good limit. Let's just do that. Uh, actually, one more should go to there. Now it's below the limit, okay. These boats over here. And up here can go to Barcelona. Okay, and the army of this guy. We need to get over there. Um, and actually, what may make sense is to just send an army that way right now, so I don't forget. We just send 2,700 over there. Twenty seven hundred, and this has a supply limit of 30, so yeah. So you guys go here. And they'll just ferry some more over there. We'll assault it. Nothing else going on down south. This is all pretty well taken care of. This could be better. I'll probably need the boats to go pick up the army of England to go take care of some of the pagan stuff that way. But we're playing on speed three, so that's good. We're going to get some of the conversion requests. The army of France, eh. Yeah, we'll raise the army of France up here on the coast. Highest supply limit that I can find. 33, 33, 33. Maybe we can actually pick up some more tech soon. 587 points. Almost there. Alright, yeah, I guess if I have to raise it... We'll just raise it here. And we'll just stand down part of it. So that it's not suffering attrition. Yeah, look at that. I need to... I just really need to reform Italy because it's going to be... Oh, and I forgot about the Pope. That's right. Why don't you guys, instead of going to Genoa, go here. Except not you. Where were you supposed to go? Shoot. You were supposed to go up there. And you guys can just reassemble here and attack the Pope. Which means that the boats that I had selected should actually go to the sea, the Tyre Tyrenian Sea. We're coming for you, Popey. Popey, Pope, Pope. I know you have 293 gold, but I've got 2,700. Those are all the conversion requests that we had done. There's going to be a few bad battles. I don't care. Makes no difference. Nothing that's going to cause us to lose a war. These armies will just all pile in. It's like zombies. Speaking of zombies, there's a really cool DLC that... Or not DLC, but... Uh, Corba, the guy who made Elder Kings, actually put together a really cool little mod. The zombie invasion. I might play that. I'm not sure. That'll actually be sufficient, so... We'll just forget about those troops. Oh, 
Okay, so, um, how are we doing on these spots? Can we assault yet? Actually lost a battle, that's awesome. Let's assault here. I don't care if someone's trying to kill my daughter. Daughters don't matter! Not in this game. And looks like we've got someone who's surrendering in the... Conquest Wars, we accept. Okay. Uh, now we have to watch out for the old Tengri, which is kind of annoying. But I can... If I, if I do grant the title... Oh, it's contested in a war, so we can't actually do anything with it. Alright, well that's fine. Well, anyway... I'm going to take a break here, and uh, we'll start assaulting everything everywhere. And from here, the game's going to go pretty quick, actually. I think. We'll see. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.